What's going on guys? As you can see we got some NBA 2K12 today. I went out and got the game from Redbox yesterday and I'm going to keep it for a few days. Play some my player, get some live commentaries on here and stockpile some stuff on my hard drive so I can be posting it for a little while. And if you guys are enjoying this, I'll go out buy the game if you guys like these videos and contain the my player series. Here we got a player that I used to play with on NBA 2K11. Back before I did any YouTube stuff, I never really went too deep into the series. I've never really played NBA that much, but I've recycled them for this year's game. Deshaun Carter, the point guard from Minnesota. Here you can see the customization I've done to him. Gave him the headband, some Jordans. And this was a player I had a lot of fun playing with back on 2K11. And I've been a big fan of these 2K player series. I just never have really gone deep into the game modes at all. And I've only read box this game for now, but you guys like these videos. I'll go out and buy this game soon, and we can get some more episodes on here, some live commentaries. And this was the very first thing I did once I got the game. I didn't go and play any practice games. I just jumped right into my player, creating my guy. I kind of remember a little bit from the last year's game. I wasn't sure how much it had changed. I haven't watched too many videos about this game. But I have created Deshaun Carter, and now it's time to enter the Rookie Showcase. And here you can see Deshaun Carter. He's a 6-foot, 190-pound point guard. And what this is right here is a game you play against other rookies going into the draft and then scouts and GM's will be watching you and they'll decide whether or not they want to draft you and you only get one game this year as opposed to I believe in previous games you played a lot more I know I've played the 2k10 draft combine I played last year's game but here we go we're in the game now and first points of the game are Deshaun Carter knocking down a jump shot and then he gets a defensive rebound on the next defensive possession now when it comes to this game, I did not look at the controls beforehand, so I didn't know how to do a lot of things. Before I go and start playing more games, I'll be sure to look at the controls and make sure I know more what I'm doing. I pretty much just knew how to shoot and uh, do a couple of dribbling moves, but I don't know a lot of basketball, so most of these commentaries I make for this series are going to be live, because I just don't have the basketball IQ. I don't have the basketball terminology down. I think it'll be a lot more entertaining for me to do basketball live commentaries than for me to pretend like I know what I'm talking about. I mean, football is definitely my expertise. I know a lot of the players. I know all the terminology. When it comes to basketball, I don't know most of these players on each roster. I might know a couple players on each team, but I don't watch a lot of basketball. I don't follow the sport that much. I mean, I'm an NFL junkie, so... I do all sorts of commentaries on there, and I can incorporate a lot of my football knowledge into them, whereas basketball, I'm not that smart when it comes to the game, I just like playing these My Player Series games, so live commentaries are coming, and we'll see here, had a poor first half as far as defense goes, so I want to come out in the second half and try to play some better defense, it's always been the weakest part of my My Player games, and we'll come here, I lose my man for a second, I get back on him, and then I block his shot, the 6 foot point guard gets a block, and then... They say I allowed a rebound. That is not my fault. That is not my fault. So, I had a rough time going with this teammate grade here. I got the hang of getting good grades on NBA 2K11, but it's like I'm starting all over. I'm not carrying over too much of what I knew from that game into here. So, it's like I'm starting all over, and we got a lead right now in the fourth quarter, just trying to preserve it, and I'm trying to play good defense, but... And I'm basically trying to do anything to get my teammate grade up, but all I was really doing this game was scoring well. I had a great field goal percentage, but when it came to getting assists, wasn't doing too much, wasn't playing that great of defense, but the guys that I were covering weren't even getting the ball that often. So it seemed like I didn't have enough opportunities to counterbalance all the stupid stuff I was doing. Like, I had some bad passes, I had some bad shots that got blocked because I tried to drive on some forwards. But I, I scored the, a lot, and my teammate grade was low, but I think I played pretty well. I mean, I got us a bunch of points. I shot well from the field, and here we see we got the last seconds of the clock ticking off. Try to score another basket before the game is done, and we win this game by seven. So I had a lot of fun playing this, and I'll have to find a quarter length that I want to play with. I'm going to check out some other commentators are doing this series and see what they're doing. Because I know on 2K11, I believe anyways, I played with 12-minute quarters. And I could do that 
for this game and just put in the parts of the game that are important and make it like seven, eight minutes. But here we got some interviews, and I've edited them down Big so you don't see my decision-making. And you can just listen to them. So I'm going to stop talking now, and you can listen to these we interviews. We the 16th pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions real quick, if you don't mind. We already have some good guards on our roster in Drew Holiday and Evan Turner. Where do you see yourself fitting in with those guys? Look, I'm not really a fit with your current roster. You guys already have some nice guards on the roster, guys that would cut into my playing time. I'd rather go to a place where my talents would be best used, and I'm sorry, but that's not Philly. Next question. It takes a strong will to play here in Philadelphia. If you give your heart and soul to the team, the fans will support you completely with their adoration. On the other hand, if you ever badmouth them or not give 100% out on the court, they will turn on you in a heartbeat and boo you relentlessly. They truly are the best fans in basketball and expect nothing less than your best. Do you think you have the makeup to play in this city? Yeah, I can really get behind a fan base that wants to win and will do anything to get it. We're very alike in that regard. I've always given 100% of myself to the game. It's not all about me. When I put on a jersey, I have a responsibility to not only myself, but also to my teammates and the fans of that team. I think Philly fans and I are on the same level. I think it'd be a mutual love. I appreciate your honesty answering my questions. Best of luck to you in the draft. Greetings. I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Rockets. In addition to the 14th pick, we also have the 23rd pick in the upcoming draft and are looking at you with one of those picks. We'd like to get to know you better by asking you a couple of questions. Let's get to it. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? I'll keep this short and sweet. All I do is win, but I don't really see that opportunity right now in Houston. I know you have Kmart and Luis Scola and all, but sorry, I'm just not interested in losing. Okay, last question. Talk about what you have to improve on as you make the jump to the next level. We'd like to see what you think about your game as a whole. Primarily my focus and being mentally uh, tougher. I need to study the game and watch the players in front of me and learn. I also need to learn from the veteran guys so I can step in and contribute when my name is called. Thanks for answering our questions. I don't know that we're a fit for you at this time. We'll need to discuss internally. I'll be in touch. Thanks for taking the time to answer my questions. We're picking 18th in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. All right, let's get to it. Now, obviously, you play at arguably our strongest position in point guard. John Wall is our centerpiece and who we're building this team around. We've got some promising pieces around him in JaVale McGee, Andre Bloch, and Nick Young. I think we're really lacking in depth, and I think you would be a great fit for our team. How well can you handle being on a team like this where the focus won't be on you? My focus is, and always has been, on winning. If the focus isn't on me when we're doing that, that's fine because we're getting the W's. I mean, I can't sit here and tell you that I want to spend my entire career coming off the bench. No one can tell you that with a straight face. But in the meantime, I want to learn and I want to win. This team offers me both those opportunities. Interesting. Next question. This next question is more how you feel about what we're doing here in Washington. Having recently traded away our former cornerstone in Gilbert Arenas, the franchise turned a new page in that we brought in a lot of very talented young guys, headlined by John Wall. With the group we have now, do you feel like you'd fit in? Yeah, man, I do. I'm a young player. I'm going to make some mistakes. With this roster, I won't be the only player in that situation, and that's something that's really comforting to me. I love that your roster is packed with young guys who are hungry to win. That's the recipe for success and what I want to be a part of. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. All right, well, now we see here the 2K Sports mock draft, and they got Deshaun Carter going at number 16 to the Philadelphia 76ers, a team that we told in the interview that we didn't want 
we did not want to be a part of. So they better not pick us because that's going to make Deshaun angry. It's going to make me angry. Good evening and welcome so now we see uh, David Stern, the commissioner of the NBA, and he's going to start listing off the draft picks. Uh, all right, so the Cleveland Cavaliers. They're not going to draft me. Doug Martin, running back, Boise State. Actually, point guard from Michigan. I believe that's actually Kyrie Irving. I don't know a lot about basketball, so I don't even know half the rookies are in this draft. I watch football. That's my expertise. I, I know nothing about basketball. I just like playing these games. Man, this would be crazy if they had the actual names, the actual players. I mean, NBA 2K Sports goes a long way at this game to try to make it authentic and as real to the NBA experience as you can get. And I wish I would see more developers do this. As When I say more developers, I mean EA Sports. We see um, you know, 2K Sports do an excellent job on the NBA game. And MLB The Show was an awesome game. I just wish that football had a game that was as good as the show is for baseball and this game is for basketball. It's really disappointing to see one of the, probably the more popular game out of those three, the most popular sport, yet the game lacks because EA Sports has no competition and has an old engine that the game suffers because of. We're getting to the Houston Rockets. Don't pick me, don't pick me, don't pick Deshaun Carter. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Thank you. But they got one in 23rd. Okay, we got the Wizards at 18. I didn't see that they had two first-round picks. I remember them saying that now in the interview, but... All right, go to the Pacers. Don't pick me. Don't pick me. It's a big mistake. There you go. Just got to survive through two more teams, and I'm going to get picked by the Wizards. And if I drop the 20 and go to the Timberwolves, it ain't that bad either. Don't pick me, Knicks. I don't want to be a Nick. Perfect. I have been set up. Drop down to 18. Let's see if the Washington Wizards select Deshaun Carter. The Washington Wizards select the 19-year-old. Yeah, Deshaun Carter has been drafted by the Washington Wizards after a good interview. And I shut down the Sixers and the Rockets and said good things to the GM, whoever was talking to me from the Wizards. Ooh, contract negotiations. We need you to provide valuable minutes off of the bench. This is the maximum amount we can offer based on where you were drafted. Really? $1.28 million, two years, with the team option for a third year. Your rookie contract is not negotiable. When this one expires, you'll be negotiating for every dollar. All right. I'll live with that. Wizards better treat Sean Carter right. Now it's my rookie year in the NBA. Okay, they keep doing these like dramatic little screens and then nothing happens except for another screen with words I have to read. All right. Deshaun, I can't begin to tell you how excited we are that you are a part of this team. We've started a new ad campaign on the billboards around town, completely centered around your arrival. Let me know what you think. The marketing department. Let's check this out. The future has arrived. He has actually arrived the year before. But I appreciate what you're doing for me and that large man on the poster, the billboard. That's pretty sick. All right, so Deshaun Carter has been drafted by the Washington Wizards. He is a 61 overall point guard. He has $67,000. He got one check. Next payday, what do I do with my money? What can I spend it on? Do I got like a crib or something I can buy a TV and all this other stuff? That would be sick. I got a bunch of skill points. I can do some drills. I remember a little bit from playing 2K11, but my mind is not very fresh. And I'm not very good at this game anyway, so it's going to be interesting. So, next episode, we'll get into some drills, we'll get into some games. I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Deshaun Carter My Player Series on NBA 2K12. Hope you guys are enjoying this type of stuff. I'll see you guys next time.